That's really blue. Good morning, everybody. Today's the day. I have my uh, follow-up appointment from post-surgery, and um, hopefully I can get all these bandages off. He's going to take a look at the incision, make sure everything's healing great, and um, causing my fingers, I get this neck brace off today. Um, I'm pretty excited for this appointment. I'm feeling better. No headache, no migraine. I'm just ready to get this neck brace off and continue to get better day by day. But today I'm feeling good and excited for this appointment. It's just one step closer to being all better and back to my normal self. Cannot wait to take a normal shower today. I'm going to take a long one. <laughs> but um, um, appointments in a few hours. And... Um, I will keep you guys updated. Hopefully I can bring you along and um, go through the process of taking this all out. And they're going to set me up with some physical therapy to get my neck and all those muscles back moving where they're supposed to. But um, I will keep you guys updated and I will talk to you later today. Hi guys. I am home from my appointment. Um, I wanted to tell you I got yelled at three times to put my phone away and put the camera away. I'm not sure what goes on at that hospital, but they are strictly prohibiting any kind of filming or pictures. I did sneak a few pictures, so hopefully I can put those into this vlog. But um, neck brace is off, bandages are off, um, everything went well. Uh, the incision's just about an inch in the back of my head, which is great. You're barely gonna notice anything once my hair starts growing back. And um, I don't have to wear the neck brace at all when I'm home. He just recommends me wearing it for the next few days when I'm in the car. But if I'm not in the car, I do not have to wear it. I just have to continue with some light activity as I'm doing, resting, and um, nothing major for the rest of the week. But um, my neck is just sore, but it doesn't hurt. Um, which is great. Still no headache or migraine. I um, was told when I'm sitting on the sofa or whenever I get the chance just to like stretch my neck out, move it up and down side by side. Um, other than that, it was great news. Good visit. Um, it is burning in the back of my head. Not sure why, but it's burning. Um, but I can finally take a shower. I can get my whole head wet. So um, that's what I'm going to do now and go take a nice long shower because my hair needs it. But um, everything else went great and I will keep you guys updated with how I'm feeling but so far I'm feeling much better and it was a good day. So um, stay tuned guys for any more updates. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and um, we'll talk soon guys. Bye. My friends. So I spilled chocolate ice cream, or well, I dropped chocolate ice cream on our kitchen rug, our pretty rug, but I think I ruined it because I put it in the washer and everywhere there was a white line is now stained blue. Guess all the blue dye came out of the rug. It looks nice. I don't like it, but I can live with that, but it also stained the dryer because it started raining outside and I couldn't hang it out on the line so I decided to throw it in the dryer and now our dryer stained blue and when I wipe it with a paper towel, blue dye comes off. <laughs> so... Oh, I think we'll be Googling that. We're going to have to figure out how to clean the inside of the dryer. Um, you guys can comment below if you know an easy solution to clean out the dryer, but this still is not dry yet. And I think, um... What did you do? I messed up. I didn't know, I just... Ooh, did they see the back of your head? No. You were shot? No, not right now. Okay. Um, <laughs> I guess drape it over the bathtub, but it's kind of heavy, it's still wet. Yeah, I can drape it over the bathtub, let me see. Yeah. Let me see if I can wipe it out. I don't want it to stain the tub either. <laughs> 
You don't need a mm. blue tub and a blue dryer. Hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. That's what just happened. But, it if looks... you guys have a solution, please comment below. Because, if not, I'm going to be finding alternative ways to scrub the dryer tomorrow. Without hurting myself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm using soap at this point. I'll have to Google it or Reddit it or something. It, it's probably baked into the dryer drum, you know? Yeah. It's, you know, got so hot in the color. So we got the initial. My dad said clean. you want to let it dry, fully dry because it's moist. Yeah. And then clean it tomorrow when it's fully dry. Probably a good idea. He said get an old t-shirt because it will cling to the clothes. Get an old t-shirt and clean it with the t-shirt. You're going to have to call Robin now. He said he did it with um, red dye before. It's a nice color blue. Huh. Blue, all right. So guys, I will have to figure out how to clean the dryer tomorrow. Got most of it. Yeah, we got most of it, but it's still blue, and my fingertips are kind of stained blue. I think it baked in the heat. Yeah, and my neck just hurts. like an oven, and it baked in to yeah. the uh, drum. So it's but a blue drum. I finally took a full shower. It felt good, minus burning. But um. That was our evening mishap. It was an adventure. Guess I'll uh, edit this vlog and get it up. Yeah, so make sure you guys like, like and subscribe. All thanks, Colleen. And we will talk soon. Bye, guys.